The bag of holding from ThinkGeek is fairly well known, and there are several videos detailing it on YouTube. The smaller bag of holding, Con Survival Edition, not so much. So, here's a quick review. The exterior of the bag is black with some bright green highlights, the same green as the ThinkGeek logo. The front features a Velcro section to customize the appearance, and it comes with two Velcro logos. The side features what look like two drink holders. This one is fairly standard and works just fine. However, I will say the mesh down here does not feel particularly strong. I have some concern on its longevity. It can hold most standard sized water bottles, though not a large Nalgene. The other side features what could be used as another bottle holder, but also possesses another drawstring opening on the bottom, allowing it to be used to hold longer objects, like a poster. I wanted this specifically to hold a small umbrella, which it works great for. I will say I think two simple Velcro tie-downs would have been a bit more versatile, but it's still a nice feature. Coming around to the back is a Velcro secured dock pocket. It's a simple pouch, which I am currently using to hold a pad of paper. This sort of pocket is also nice for airports, to hold things like tickets, itinerary, and possibly a magazine. At an event like a con, I'd use it to shove all the random cards, brochures, maps, and other paper crap everyone wants to hand you. The bottom is plain. The top has this quite nice stiff rubber handle. It is attached quite securely, and makes toting and moving the bag around a breeze. Interestingly, the handle is identical to one used on an old laptop backpack I have. That's not a complaint, as it is an excellent handle. Sturdy, comfortable, well-placed, and can be used no matter how the bag is loaded. It still functions just fine, even with the main pouch open. The strap clips onto these two rings. It feels durable, is easily adjustable, has a moving shoulder pad, and swivels so it never requires untwisting. It's also designed to have an extra strap for putting pins on. I currently only have one. But good stuff. Now, the inside. First, I will note the zippers are very nice, YKK in fact. Smooth, no snagging. Here is the front pocket. It opens like a drawbridge. The clear plastic here is actually a Velcro top-loading pouch. It's intended to hold a tablet. A standard iPad will fit with these bands holding it in place. I don't have an iPad, but you can see it does work with my Nook HD+. The plastic is thin enough that you can still use the touchscreen. However, I don't find this to be a very useful feature, so instead I load the pouch up with a gridded organizer filled with stuff. The one I use is about 7 inches by 9 inches. It fits quite nicely, and if something fell off the gridit, the pouch will hold it in place. This side has a few organizing features. There are two pen or pencil slots, which I use for just that, and this wider pouch where I put a protein bar and a Sharpie. There is a large grommet over here, intended so you can run a power cable to the other compartment. It's solid, but not a feature I'm likely to use. The back of this whole area is one large pouch. I put a notepad, a handkerchief, a Ziploc bag full of various consumables, and a small dice bag in here. Moving to the main compartment, the zippers, again, are YKK and function perfectly. No snags. The interior is quite spacious, probably stretching to about 5 inches across. Most hardcover role-playing books would easily fit in here. At the back bottom are two medium pouches. I store a grocery bag in this one. In the other one, I put a microfiber cloth and a Ziploc bag with band-aids in it. On the other side of the interior of the bag are three more pouches, one medium, two small. All three are deeper than you'd guess. I use the medium one for my laptop power supply. The end of the cord goes in the small pouch. Also in the medium pouch is my travel mouse. In the third pouch, I store two sanitizing wipes and a comb. In the main compartment, I also put my 11-inch laptop and a padded sleeve. Behind it, my mouse pad. Finally, I fit in my 3DS in a semi-rigid case. Even with all this in here, there is still a bit of room in the top of the bag, though honestly, not much. On a general level, the bag feels very well constructed. The material is thick and slightly spongy, and there are only a few loose threads. I also like that it is basically a vertical messenger bag, and is therefore only about as wide as my hips, meaning I can shift it to a back or front position and easily traverse tight spaces. I would have liked a couple more small pouches, maybe a zippered area on the interior, but on the whole, this is a quality bag in a good form factor. It would work well for traveling, work, 
art supplies, pen and paper gaming, or, as the name implies, carrying at a convention. At around $30, it is very reasonably priced as well. Good job, ThinkGeek.